Welcome, and thank you for being with us today. Today's session is to help bring awareness and clarity around the resource you now have access to, Ready, Set, Math. We will be exploring the features built within the resource to help you best use it, know how to navigate it, and ensure that you know what is all available to you. We will not be digging into the curricular content of the resource at this time. However, there are additional resources being created that will help support you in that area. All right, let's get started. Ready, Set, Math is designed to serve as a supplemental resource that can support and enhance math instruction in a variety of classrooms and learning environments. The resource is grounded in math recovery research and pedagogy, from the progression of the sub goals within a module to the content used in developing the lessons and activities. The lessons and activities are high quality and engaging and can be easily adapted to support math instruction across multiple grade levels and to serve a wide range of instructional needs from core instructional support to intervention support. Additionally, there are support features within the resource that guide teachers to make the best selection of content for their students at the right time. We will be spending some time looking into the guiding features of the modules as well as taking a glimpse at some of the features within each of the individual lessons and activities. Within the Ready, Set, Math resource, there are a total of 10 modules that span from topics ranging from early numeracy to fractions. Ready, Set, Math was developed with the intent to be beneficial and useful for all educators, regardless of previous experiences with math recovery professional development courses. However, we do recognize and acknowledge the value of professional learning and the benefit it can bring to the effectiveness of implementing any instructional resource. If you have participated in math recovery courses, you will find that the content of the lessons and activities are closely aligned with the learning framework and number and math recovery guiding principles and key elements. If you have not participated in math recovery courses, there are features built into the resource that serve to better support your understanding of the purpose of the instructional approaches, as well as the content knowledge used within the lessons and activities. For each module, you will find references to the related math recovery resources for your continued learning, or you can refer to our website for any upcoming courses or workshops that you may be interested in. The which module document that you see here is available from the opening page of the resource and will support you when selecting a module. This document is a great first look as it has guiding questions that you see here along the left side for you to consider in the mathematical concepts and skills that students may need support with. From these questions, there are the 10 available modules that you see listed down the middle of the document. These modules provide instruction and learning to support the development of these concepts and skills. Notice that some of these modules are clustered as those are modules that cover a large learning progression within this concept. For instance, these three modules for addition and subtraction begin first with early counting based strategies and then progress to strategies and basic facts to 10 and then to 20. Because this learning takes place over the course of typically three years, the amount of content within these modules is quite extensive. Knowing where your students are and what is needed to support their learning will help in selecting the most appropriate module. And some may find that the purchase of these clusters are beneficial in having the full span of resources for this one domain. Additionally, you will notice at the far right of the document that the modules are not age or grade specific, but rather are aligned and designed to meet the learning needs of students across pre-K to middle school age children. The resource is dynamic in that it may be used to support core instruction, intervention, and, en and enrichment. As you see here, this cluster of three modules have the possibility of meeting all three levels of support dependent on the age and stage of learning for the students. 
Once you have selected either the module or the cluster of modules that may address the learning needs of your students, it will be beneficial for you to review the learning goal and description of the modules. This provides an overview and key learning for the module as a whole. We have also identified prerequisite knowledge needed for students in order to find the most success within the module. There are suggestions to other modules that may be beneficial in developing the necessary prerequisite knowledge if needed. Along the right side of the module page, you will see um, a breakdown of the learning progression through four to five sub goals. This particular module has five sub goals as seen here from sub goal A through sub goal E. These sub goals provide multiple entry points and learning paths for students as they may be at various stages in their learning. Because not all students will need to start in the same sub goal, it is important for you to take time to familiarize yourself with the learning goals within each sub goal and preview the student knowledge checks to best anticipate or use what you already know about your students where you might start instruction. The descriptions shown here concisely describe the content being addressed within the sub goal and the purpose for the learning. The student knowledge checks shown here are simple questions and tasks that assess the end goal of the learning within the sub goal. They are designed in such a way that they can provide information for multiple purposes. First, they can be used to assess the appropriateness and readiness of the content within the lessons and activities prior to teaching. Secondly, they can be used to monitor student progress while you are facilitating the lessons and activities with your students. The main feature of Ready, Set, Math will be found here, the instructional resources. When you click here, you will be brought to a collection of lessons and activities for the sub goal. Each sub goal includes a collection of about 12 to 20 lessons and activities. That comes to be approximately 50 to 70 lessons and activities per module. Each one is designed to be easily adaptable and flexible. Even though each is designed with a particular mode of instruction in mind, they can be easily adapted to be used in other modes of instruction. For example, a large group lesson that you see listed on the left side can be facilitated with a small group of students and vice versa. These lessons are written to be more inquiry based and the use of materials may vary, but can easily be adjusted to the group of students you are working with. Additionally, the independent activities listed on the far right side can be used to can be used when facilitating a learning experience within a large group or a small group of students as well. The purpose and description statements for the lessons and activities depict the learning objective toward the learning outcomes of each sub goal. In general, the large group and small group lessons are listed on the instructional resource page and progress from top to bottom in sophistication of learning. The independent activities are intended to be more of a rehearsal mode of learning, progressing students toward facility of the learning goal. Once you open an individual lesson, there are many features to be aware of. The first is the material section. Some materials listed will be in a colored font and accompanied by a blue down, download cloud icon. These materials can be previewed when you hover over the colored text or it can be downloaded and printed when the cloud icon is clicked. There are also companion resources for each module available as a separate purchase. There are two types of resources that you can choose from. The first is a manipulative kit. This includes materials used in the lessons and activities. And these materials include both common classroom manipulatives as well as US math recovery instructional settings. The second companion resource option is an activity board box set that includes pre-produced activity boards, student directions, task cards, and much more, all of which are used in the lessons and activities. These materials are professionally printed and laminated for durability. The resources are organized and labeled by sub goal 
so that you can easily access them. With the help of the companion resources, you can focus more of your time on student learning and implementation of activities and significantly less time on preparation. Each contains materials to support classroom implementation of the large and small group lessons, as well as the partner activities. Another feature you will encounter within the lessons and activities are what we refer to as light bulb moments. These are indicated by a light bulb icon within the body of the lessons and activities. When hovered over the light bulb icon, a pop-up box displays to provide in the moment professional learning, as well as suggestions and considerations for facilitation of the lesson or activity. The content within these moments is aligned with math recovery research and principles, and at times provide explanations for why the lesson is having students do something a certain way. Another feature you will encounter throughout the lessons is what we, re what we refer to as magnifying glass moments. These are indicated with a magnifying glass icon within the body of the lessons and activities. When hovered over, a pop-up box provides you with student knowledge look fors as well as considerations for in-the-moment decision-making. These moments can assist you in monitoring student progress by drawing attention to when and how students may demonstrate facility or may need additional support. At the bottom of most lessons and activities, you will see variations listed. These provide suggestions for ways in which you can make slight modifications to the lesson or activity to provide scaffolded support, increased challenge, or just variety. The related activities seen here are those activities that best correspond with the learning purpose and objective of the current lesson. These may be considered for providing continued learning opportunities in various modes of instruction. These listed activities are hyperlinked, and when you click them, you will be taken directly to the activity page for that particular lesson or activity. Another feature available to you from the instructional resource page of each sub goal is a downloadable home communications and engagement document. This document provides educators with parent friendly language to communicate the learning goal and objectives in any communications sent home or used with families. These are also, there are also suggestions that give you ideas for making the activities accessible to students beyond the classroom and some easy ways for families to engage in the learning at home through activities or conversations. Please take note that this document is not intended to be printed or sent home directly to parents. It does provide you the verbiage and content that can be used in any of your communications homes, such as your newsletters or emails, or support you in your parent meetings as well. As you navigate the Ready, Set, Math website, there are two main features that we'd like to bring attention to to help you in your navigation for ease and convenience. The first being the breadcrumb trail at the top of the page as you navigate away from the opening page of the module and from activity to activity. As you get further into the resource, you can easily find your way back one step. Or if you want to jump back to the module opening page, you can do so by clicking the blue and green 123 logo on the far left side of the breadcrumb trail. Additionally, when you click the download a document icon, it will open in a new window so that you can easily return back to the activity where you were. We know that you may have had a lot of information shared with you in this session. For that reason, a recording of this webinar is going to be posted and made available for you to revisit as you need, as well as to share with others that are also using Ready, Set, Math. Additionally, we continue to take a collection of frequently asked questions and will be posting those answers and responses on our website. Thank you so much for attending today.